Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a California Valley quail. I take two fingers over here at the top on the left and down below I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, a big curve line down, straight line, and stop. Right where I stopped I'm going to put a little curve line straight line up, leave that floating, come back down, little curve line, straight line up, floating. Okay? I come back to my first dot and I'm going to draw a curve line down and a curve line up. Underneath I'm going to put another little curve line. I come back to the inside and I draw a flat oval and inside that oval I'm going to put one curve line and then another curve line. Okay? I come right over here on top and I draw a little curve line connect. Underneath I draw another little curve line connect. I come back to the top one and I draw a curve line curve line down and leave that floating. Come back to this section and I'm going to draw a little curve line, little curve line down, leave that floating. I come back inside again and I'm going to continue with a curve line down, curve line up, connect, and now I'm going to come right where I left that other line floating and I'm going to draw another curve line down little curve line up connect. Right about here on the inside I draw a curve line up connect right next to it curve line up connect come down curve line up connect curve line up connect curve line up connect. I can keep going down curve line up connect curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect. I come all the way back up to the top and right where my dot is I'm going to put a curve line out and then a wavy wavy line up in connect. I come back over here down here at this space and now I draw a big curve line down around, up, connect. I'm going to put one more row of these curve lines, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, connect. And now right about here I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down and a curve line up and leave it floating inside this space I'm going to put little curve line up, connect, up, connect, up, connect, up, connect. I can fit one more there and one more there. I come back to the front part and I'm going to go wavy, wavy, or curved line, curved line, sorry, curved line, curved line, these are bigger spaces, curve line, curve line. And now I'm going to come back down to this section and I'm just going to draw a slightly wavy line to the edge. And now I'm going to fill all of these in with little curve lines. Now you can tell this quail has a lot of markings and details going on. So it's almost like you have to do it section by section and the same thing is going to happen when we start to color. So for a little teeny bird he's got a lot of things going on. Which might be why they made it the California State Bird. So you do all these little curved lines going across. 
And then when you get to this section, <clears throat> you're going to make a bigger curve line. Bigger curve line. Okay? Now, I come all the way back up to this top part, and I'm going to draw a curve line connect, and I'm going to put a dot. And now, I come all the way down to the bottom, and I draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal out, zig, zag, zig, zag, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal up, again, a connect. Right next to it, we're going to do it again, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal out, zig, zag, zig, zag, straight line up, straight diagonal up, connect. Okay? Right at this space right here, I just do curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Okay, let's see if this is everything. He's got a lot going on. I think we're okay. Now, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to make this section a little bit darker black. And I think now we're ready to color. Let's see how we're going to color him in. Okay, just like drawing this guy is kind of tricky, or intricate I should say, not tricky, intricate, a lot of detail. Same thing with his coloring. Now let's see if I can do this correctly. Alright, first off already I forgot a line. Right about here I should just draw a little curved line. And that's because this whole section is black. It's this little cap of feathers. And the thing about the quail is that his coloring is like black, 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 white, 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 brown, 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 real intense colors. So this top little hooded section, this is all going to be black. Then you leave everything alone until you come to this section, which is also going to be black, black, black. So this should be black, black, black. Okay? Next comes gray. If you don't have gray, you can use your black crayon lightly. But this section, right by his eyeball, this is gray. The top part of his beak, this is gray. You come down in this big section of curved lines, this is gray. And again, like I said, the part that you don't color should be white, 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 white. Real bright white. Okay? All right. Now, all of a sudden, he's got brown. So you come down and you kind of start doing this upper section around these teardrops. And you bring it down and this is all brown. Don't do the teardrops on, in the inside. Those all stay white. And it's a real bright white. So you bring this down. This is all brown. You start to bring this part down brown also. But then, all of a sudden, you're going to switch and you're going to use blue, which I kind of go over the brown lightly, so it kind of looks like it's starting to fit all together. And I bring the blue down, and over the blue, I start with a light purple, because he's got bluish purple tail feathers all the way down. So you can imagine this is a very colorful bird for only being a couple of colors. It's because his markings are so intense. Then you get down to his feet and if you have gray you're going to use gray but if you don't have gray a light black there's no orange on this guy. Okay and then this little teeny section right here, this should be brown. Okay? That's a lot. It's like filling in a puzzle. Let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here he is all colored in and um, I think what I will do next is a POMO, P-O-M-O, -O, Native American basket that uses that top little quail feather for part of their decoration. Okay, bye-bye.